It's the little things that we do in life that make the biggest difference. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to set the table properly. And whether it's fine china or a paper plate, you still do the same thing when it comes to table setting. Where do you put the plate? Well, it's one inch from the edge of the table. It's not over the edge, it's not over there, it's one inch. And when it comes to a place setting or a table setting, you have as much as 18 inches to work with per person. And where do we put the silverware? Proper name of this, which is a dinner knife. It's not a table knife, it's a dinner knife. Where does it go on the table? It goes on the right-hand side of the dinner plate and always make sure that the blade of the knife is facing the plate. The teaspoon goes right here on the right-hand side, and the reason we're putting it beside the dinner knife is we're going to use that last. We're going to start from the outside and work ourselves in. Soup spoon, because we eat soup first. Soup spoon goes on the outside of the teaspoon. Ice teaspoon. So that's the iced teaspoon, goes on the outside. Dinner fork, not a table fork, it's a dinner fork. What do you use it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Goes on the outside. Forks are always on the left-hand side of the dinner plate. We gotta have a salad. So the salad fork goes on the outside of the dinner fork because we're going to use it first. So this is a dessert fork, goes here at the top. This is a dessert spoon, goes on the top, because you want to be able to pick it up. If they're left-handed, you still do it the same way when it comes to table setting. Dessert fork, dessert spoon. This is a bread and butter knife. Goes one inch from the tip end of the dinner fork. The knife is placed at the top, facing you. The blade is facing you. Glassware is always on the right-hand side. The tallest glass goes at the tip of the dinner knife. And you graduate. You put the next one here. And then the iced tea, that's there. Of course, there's your iced teaspoon. Now, if you want coffee instead of tea, you put the coffee cup on the right-hand side Please do not put napkin under the silverware. And there's a reason for that. You don't want to make your guests work or your family work. You want to put the napkin in a simple place that can easily access. So when do you put the napkin in your lap? Always wait for the host or the hostess to put the napkin in their lap. A lot of times, if you notice, you'll see people grab the napkin and they're just shaking it like that just having a fun time with it. Please don't do that. Let me show you how to do it properly. The main thing in etiquette is you don't want to make a scene. You want to keep it as graceful and not make a scene as possible. What you do is you put your thumb under this flap. You let it fall into your lap. Napkins are made for dabbing around your mouth so you can drink from the beverage containers. How do you put the sugar in your iced tea? So you pour the sugar in the iced tea. Please don't play Star Spangled Banner or anything with your iced teaspoon on the glass. Where do you sit? Do you sit on the left or the right? Because in restaurants, if you notice, the waiter and waitress are always running over to fill the beverage containers. So let's sit on the left-hand side of a chair. When you approach the chair, you fill the chair with the back of your right leg. You smooth down your skirt or your dress, and you sit gracefully. There you go. Now make sure when you're dining that your mouth is over your food. So when you dine with soup, a lot of people want to bring it to them. You want to dip away. Oh. So you bring the soup to your mouth, not your mouth to your soup. So you're going to cut your salad, and when you're cutting, keep your elbows close to your body. You don't want to look like you're flying an airplane. You always cut, put the knife down. Now when you're finished dining, what do you do with the silverware? What you do is you make sure that the silverware is in the plate. Then when the waiter and waitress come over, they just grab the handles. A lot of people take their bread, and they take the butter and put it on the bread, the whole bread. Uh, please don't do that. 
What you do is you break a piece, mm -hmm. and then you butter one bite-sized piece at a time. How do you eat meat, whether it's a steak, chicken, turkey, whatever? What you do is you cut one bite-sized piece at a time. A lot of times people hold their silverware like that, and they come in instead an innocent steak or an innocent turkey. If you're doing that, please don't do that anymore. What you do is, properly speaking, you hold it, dead or night, and you cut. There you go. So if you're not eating, please do this with the silverware. It's called crisscross. That means I'm not finished. When it comes to dessert, if it's not pound cake, if it's a pound cake or nothing with a filling, okay, you can eat it with a fork a dessert for it. But if you have a filling, you want to eat it with a spoon and a fork, all right? Now, what is the dessert fork for if you're going to be eating with a dessert spoon? It's to keep the food on your plate so it won't leave you. Give that some anchor here. Mm -hmm. Hold that. And then you can use your spoon and enjoy your dessert. Please don't talk with food in your mouth, okay? And please don't be making sounds. A lot of people, mm, you know, all kinds of stuff going on. This is not a production. This is a moment to enjoy. So if you're making those sounds like, mm, and you, you know, please enjoy your food. People have asked me, can I put a napkin in a glass? Absolutely. That makes it pretty. Main thing is you want your table setting to be pretty. And you don't have to spend a fortune to do that. I'm going to show you a wonderful fold. Okay, so you've got four corners when you fold your napkin. Bring those in. Then what we want to do is we want to hold the four corners down. Bring this this way. Okay? Flip it over. Bring this here. Here. There you go. Now, what do you do? You want to bring the cells up. It's beautiful. And so creative. Yes, it is. And it shows that you cared. Absolutely. Okay? Please do not put personal items on the dining room table. Don't put your cell phone. Don't put your keys. Don't put your handbag. And how do you take your gloves off? Well, you start with the little pinky and you bring it up like that. Don't make a scene. Just keep them right to you. Etiquette actually means treating people the way you want to be treated. Someone brings up a conversation and they want to uh, uh, challenge you whether it's politics or religion. The main thing is don't be correcting people. Everybody has an opinion. Everybody has thoughts. And I think most human beings want the best for each other and our world. We need to get back to interacting between human beings and respect for each other. And our world would be a better place.